sorry we had a malfunction I will start over um, I have been asked okay I'll just completely start over I hate when that happens anyways um, yeah I want to make a couple things I'm not really sure as to what I want to make at the moment so right now what I figured I would do would be just an update type thing I've had people questioning and asking um, about my play-doh recipe that's for sale on Etsy in case you're wondering that's what it looks like it's a oh, excuse me <laughs> it's a three-page PDF okay you know warning on the bottom please just you know standard PDF type recipes you get but anyways with this recipe uh, um, it's not complicated but I do say it takes sort of like three days because there are a couple stages that you have to do um, and I've had questions of people asking me well what if you just do all the steps and steps on day one would that help and I've done that but you still end up sometimes not always sometimes adding more on day three anyways then again I've had it where y'all haven't had to add, had to had I haven't had to add anything so it just depends but I just wanted to show you something on how to tell if you do need to these are two batches I made yesterday okay both done exactly the same just different scents this is orange dreamsicle cream school smells amazing this is cotton candy oh, even better <laughs> if you're a you know a carnival junkie um, just love sweet stuff that would be me um, the smell is like bang on I mean oh my god I could eat this right now same with this one makes me want a creamsicle so bad but anyways first thing I do like after I've made it I'll put it in a plastic bag and then when I go to check on it I'll check it and you know give it a squish right away you'll know if it's hard or stiff you're gonna have to add to it but I always check I kind of squish to see if I see any cracking or if I see it kind of coming apart um, that's the first test um, but then, so, you know, test this one too. It's, it's, it feels firm. It feels nice. Nothing too crazy. So, let's move to my paper here. Then I test it even more. And this is what I mean. I'm going to just, I'll just show you what I do. And this might help those of you who have the questions and either haven't asked or I just haven't explained good enough. But so anyways, here's your dough. Oh, fabulous. Oh. I really seriously want a popsicle cream skull right now. So anyways, you're looking at it, it's shiny, and you're like, wow, that's got enough oil. That's pretty good. Like, that's probably perfect. I can package it. Package it. And at first glance, I'd say, yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, and there's a... Don't want that in there. Eyelash of mine. So you can't cover up your eyelashes or your eyebrows. That's what sucks. Anyways... So anyways, there is your stuff, and you're like, yeah, that's pretty good, okay? But how I test is, like with normal plasticine or Play-Doh, you would squish it, it cracks. Normal plasticine, you can put back together and it sticks, okay? See? It would stick. Right there, I'm getting my bowl. Right there, I would say, well, that's a good sign it's not going to stick together. I can here, put that away. I could mold this if I was a kid, right? But the thing is, think about it. You're in the shower or in the tub and you're playing and you're trying to mold this and these little pieces are kind of coming off. That's going to be very frustrating for anybody because it's supposed to be kind of reusable. Like one chunk you can use more than once. But see that? This is what I mean by you'll know it needs oil. It's still very dough-like feeling, but see how it's crumbly-ish? Like I can easily, and what happens is to watch. I'll try to stick this piece back on. And make it part of the dough yeah you kind of can but not like look this is definitely needing a bit more oil it's still very malleable and it's still very play-doh-ish but watch if it was perfect you would not be able to do this this easy and like I said I can still pick up a chunk right now and play with it and mold it and stuff but to get it into a ball of Play-Doh that I really want, like it's so close, people are like, well that's, you'll just know. I mean, playing with it, if that's gonna frustrate you and it's busting off like this, it, it needs oil. So I have to add one more, one more little blobber of oil and you guys can see that. See, I wish I could just play with that and it'd be good. Some people don't mind it like this. This is not how I meant it to be. 
it needs to have more. So I'm going to add, which one was it? Yeah. I'm going to add one more tablespoon of oil. A little bit of a generous tablespoon. But a tablespoon nonetheless, and I don't like to waste any. <laughs> Call me crazy. And I'll know, by the way, while I'm doing this, just because I said only add one, you might have to add more than one. Recipe is pretty much a guideline. I have actually made a couple batches where I have seriously added so much oil. It just depends on what's going on in your climate at the moment or your, you know, the temperature in your house, the humidity in your house, that kind of thing. But you'll know, by the way, like when you first make it, it squishes together really nice like this. So we're doing, it's doing pretty good. So I will mix all that in, and you'll watch. I do it, this is what I do, I do it just like a dough. And if, I, there is an older video that's on my, on my channel. Shane was being my camera guy, so you got to see me do this a bit better. I do have a hand free, because I have my wonderful, my wonderful um, tripod. But this will give you an idea if I need more oil or not. Let's see, we'll pick up all this stuff at the bottom. It should not be, um, it should not be flaky, but what it should be able to do, like it's got a nice shine again, but what you should be able to do, you'll just know. I'll pull off a piece. It's not really crumbling. And by the way, this is what it's like when it's first made. This is not the texture of what it's like when it's done. Right now, this is very light and fluffy, which is how it usually is right after you make it. But it really needs to be, if you want it to have the reusable, um, the reusable use, like I say so. When I say reusable, I don't mean take this chunk, you know, hold it underwater and then put it back in with this. Don't do that. Keep it separate. But this piece should be used like... For a bath, seriously, I probably use, you know, that good size to get huge bubbles. You want to give your kid a hunk to play with? Go ahead, do that. You hold it under the water, and then they can play with it. But right now, the texture that it's at, if they are using it in the tub, because it's so light and fluffy like this, it will dis disintegrate. And the point of this Play-Doh is it doesn't... When it's ready... And it's dense enough, and it's got that, you know, plasticine texture to it almost. That will be when it's reusable. If you guys aren't caring so much that it's not reusable, and you just want to have the bath play-doh, by all means, you can use it like this. There's no law that says, oh no, you can't use it, okay? I'm just saying, the longer that it sticks around, and the more... The more you play with it to get it dense, like this is nice right now. This is perfect. See, it's not coming apart. It's got a bit of a, but it sticks back. This is perfect. But like I said, to be more dense, you would play with this more and more and more. But I think this one is good to go. I would like to, like I would normally play with this for about two days before I package it. Just so that it's the way I would like it to be, the way I designed it to be. But I think this is probably okay. And don't forget, too, the more it sits longer in the uh, container, it will firm up, too. But you should really hang on to it for at least three days, four days, so that you know if it's not going to go harden on you. And when it hardens, it's not a waste. Just use it for something else, as in a bubble bar, because it'll still work. Um, it would take forever to dry, mind you, but it still would be, you know... This would probably actually make a really good bubble bar recipe, guys, if you guys cut out a little bit of the ingredients. But I would have to tweak it to make it so that it hardens for you guys. But we don't really need that right now because we have my other one. But I'm just saying it can be done. So you see the shine on this one? And you're, you're like, oh, it's too much. It won't. It'll be, it will soak it up into where it needs it, which is why I do. Like I said, I like to knead it and play with it quite a bit like so so that's that one 
I think that one's good. Let me just pause this. I'll put this one back in the bag. And then we're going to check on the pink one. Okay, give me one sec. Okay, I'm back. Now we're going to test the pink one. And like I said, it's squishy. It looks fine. Let's just have a look. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, I'm going to hold it over the bowl. Don't worry, the bowl's been wiped out again. Don't want to mix up fragrances. Ooh, okay, that one. Hmm. All right, so there's the pink one. Ha! Huh, right away, okay. I thought, like when I was squishing this from the bag, I thought it was good, but you just saw that. Definitely. Just like that. Yeah, we need, even though I thought it. See, all the oil was stuck to the bag. That's why it looked like it. But this definitely needs... Yep, yeah, definitely needs oil. So you guys will know right away, as soon as you open the bag. Like I said, don't go by so much by the edge of the bag. Check it, but pretty much the second you take it out, you know. So, And it'll do this, even if you've already added that extra bit of oil. It still does the same thing. It, it, it will only take as much oil as it needs. That's just the way this recipe works. That's what it does. So, hence the reason we need to add more. So, there's that one. And I'll do the same, same thing. And since I've already used this one for pink, we will add it pink. And they're both a tablespoon. I know one looks different. Maybe, maybe they do vary in sizes a bit, but I don't think so. I think it's pretty much the same. So. Okay, so there's that oil. Same dealio. I hope you guys can kind of see in here a bit. Sometimes it feels too oily, but you just keep mixing. And you definitely want gloves for this. I know it feels good on the hands, but just, I don't, I would hate to think that somebody was playing with my bath products with their freaking fingers. It's different than a bath bomb. They're, you know, they're covered in alcohol and whatnot, and they go into water. This, they're going to be touching, so I would just prefer it. Plus, it's good practicing. Manufacturing practicing guys do have gloves on. So just kind of remember that. If you're making it for yourself and your kids, well, that's a different story. But I just wouldn't. Now feeling this, like, yeah, it's quite nice, but do I think it's going to be crumbly tomorrow? Yeah, you know what? I most definitely think this is going to be crumbly tomorrow. So shall we do, although that feels so good kind of feels perfect I don't want to overdo it and add too much but because if you add too much then it'll just be an oily mess and it will not take anymore so no I'm gonna wait until tomorrow till I'm supposed to check but she's looking mighty good and when I say I need it and stuff like bread I really get in there because like I said when you first make it same as doesn't matter what color batch whatever it's still light this is like they are always this light when you make it but you want it to be dense, and I wish I had one to show you. you know, I have one over there that got old, but I'm not going to show you that one because it still works. It's just got the crumbly part. Actually, I think the other one was a washable kind anyway. It was a different one. So, but this is it. Yep, yeah, this is how she works. I love this stuff. So obviously, guys, you know I have two new scents now. <laughs> I have Creamsicle, or Dreamsicle, or whatever you want to call it. It is Orange Creamsicle. And we have Cotton Candy. And they smell so good. That was Zen's, because Zen got some, uh, well, yeah, some new fragrances in. And I am in love with their fragrances. 
So we'll, I'll show you what we got as soon as I put this away. Yeah, see that looks good. See it? Got a nice shine to it. It's very squishy, malleable. It is still very soft, but that's a perfect, a perfect Play-Doh. Perfect Play-Doh texture. See? Yeah, I'll squish it together. I'm gonna pull a piece off that I'm gonna pretend I'm gonna use. Oh, actually, Mom, guess what? I used too much. I don't want to use that all. Is it gonna stick back on? Perfect. She's good. So all it has to do is get up my pieces in here, let her sit for a day, check on it. If it's good, fine. Today's day two, so tomorrow would be the the last time that I would have to add anything if I had to add anything. So. But I, I know it says in the recipe to check on day three. Day two, I would definitely check it on day two. And then day three, you're usually good to go. If you have to add a bit more, that's usually it. So you'll know. You'll just know by the feel, how it behaves. It's just, that's just the way she goes. So, okay, let me just put this in the bag here. And then I'm going to show you guys a couple of the new fragrances and actually something that I was thinking about um, maybe making today and I don't know if you guys want to see me I know I keep promising to be doing other products and I keep <laughs> the bombs keep sucking me back in they just suck me back in what can I say I love bombing I love it okay so there she be get the air out do 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 I used to have proper big sandwich bags, but I ran out, so. Unfortunately, I'm using my shrink wrap bags, which I don't like, because it's kind of expensive to be using these for this, since I won't be able to use them again. Although I might be able to use one and a half, but no, I won't. This will be it. Okay, so that's, that's those. Let me just get rid of the gloves real quick. And obviously, that's going to be washed. That's going to be washed. Now that has to be washed. That has to be washed. And here, let's just put these away real quick. Where did I have? Oh, it looks like they leaked oil out. Uh, shrink back bag. Shrink wrap bags leak oil. What do you know? All right, let's take this one out. All right, we're going to do a bit of rearranging. this down to powder and not on my poor rack that leaked oil look at that it leaked oil on my rack which means I'm gonna have to clean that up don't mind me while I just stand here and clean up sorry you guys are watching I just don't like that I don't know if alcohol is very good for aluminum <laughs> kind of leaves marks but they're treated and stuff, but anyway. So then the fragrances that I actually got. Anyway, so I might as well show you. Let's see if I can fix my light too, because you guys don't need to be looking at my chest. Are we tight enough still? Okay, I think that's okay. I think. So some of the fragrances that I got from Zen. Oh, you saw the green apple before. We've got Cotton Candy, which is amazing, and you know that we just got the Dream, they call it Orange Dreamsicle, which is nice. Um, lemon Meringue, mm -mm -mm. and Fruit Loops, gotta have Fruit Loops. I have never owned a Fruit Loops, and I've been dying for Fruit Loops like crazy. Um, also, this is kind of cool, and I love it. Look at the size of their essential oil bottles, eh? Look at that. Look at that. I actually got blood orange because I've wanted, well, I had five-fold orange, but blood orange I just had to have. And I got citronella for some um, summery things I'm coming up with. So, but what I had in mind to do, and I don't, like I said, I don't know if anybody wants to see me actually make this or not. I have no idea. Um, couple ideas I was gonna try. You guys know my round press mold. So I was going to make some round molds. 
Um, I did make some embeds here, and I will just show you a couple. I made um, two different kinds of stars, if you guys can see the differences. This one's got like, um, you could put it in so just that little bit of the star shows, or you could put them in this way, this way. So I was going to put these in flat bombs. Um, make sort of something and then I was going to use my unicorn horn for the center but I don't know but this is what I sat here doing yesterday and you guys can call me absolutely crazy I don't care but this is what I sat and did yesterday I was making emoji embeds <laughs> do I have a lot of time on my hands no so let me just show you a couple there's some really cute ones here you know there's that one. Can you see it? The sad guy. That light might be a little bit too bright. Let me just see. I'll just do two. Yeah, so there's, you know. So I was doing all the emojis. So I was thinking of somehow, excuse my itch, somehow making some sort of emoji bombs. Or I wanted to do my, uh, my wizard bombs or something akin to that. I also want to do bubble bar scoop so bad, but I don't know right now because I do have to make some bling bombs which I know you guys are so sick of watching and seeing that um I don't know there's just like so much stuff I got some stones that came in yesterday and some other things so oh yeah and you guys still want to see me make the bunt oh speaking of that where did it go I wanted to show you guys this please say I have it here to show you Give me one second. It's a retro thing I really wanted to do. I think it's here. Come on, what did you do with the retro? Retro. Where are my retro molds? Are they in there? No. Guys, I had retro molds. Seriously, God. I don't want to show you guys because they were like epic. And, see, this is my life. This is my life. Let's just lose everything that I want to show everybody that I wanted to make. Damn it. I had them here. They were retro molds, and I'm talking... I can't even explain them to you because you need to see them. Oh, no, that's a bunny. How am I going to find... I'll have to find them and show you guys because these were... These were phenomenal molds, and I'm in love with them. They're probably in the other room. But you'll see what you what I mean when I make them when I say retro. I it's we're talking the seventies retro, hence my seventies type shirt today. So I don't know. If you guys want me to come back and make something, just give me a hint. I, I don't think I can do the lip bombs right now. Only because the old boy's here and I'll have to take over his kitchen. And there's still dishes and stuff. I mean I might, I don't know. But just I don't know. I only have so much I can work with today, so uh, the other thing that I was doing when you guys haven't been seeing me for a few days is I was making some mini gold well mini different colored nuggets so these are mini gold nuggets um, yeah that's my other gold red pink green a different red um, I made two different kinds of blue ones with a mica which is this one and also these are Epsom salts these are solar salts and oh my god guys the solar salts i know there's a big thing for those big salts right now um i can't show you those at the moment but i can show you the solar salts and like i said that's the size they're not huge but they do take color really really well and i think i showed you them the kind you can eat but yes they take color amazing like seriously look at there's nothing that's hardly anything left in the bag. What, a couple little glitters here? They literally stick, as opposed to, um, let me show you an Epsom one. Okay, here's an Epsom salt one. And if you can see that, how much is stuck to the bag, and the salts still kind of look white, that's Epsom. This is the solar salts. Look at that. Literally, the salts just took the color. So, it's a really good salt you know for a decoration or you could put it in your bombs but just remember salts can be drying if you use too much so i just thought i'd share that with you so guys please comment and all that stuff down below um i'm going to be holding a contest 
very soon because I, like a dumb dumb, I I totally forgot this, guys, and I apologize. But I also thank you so much. I actually finally hit 3,000 subscribers. I was going to do a contest when it was at like 2,000 and something, which still floors me. I think it was like at 280 something or whatever. And I was going to have a contest to say, you know, when we get to 3,000, um, I'll do a contest, a giveaway or something. It went by like that, which thank you so much because you guys, I have gone above and beyond all my expectations at this moment. So uh, we will be having a contest. I may have to change it now to when we get to like 32. I don't know. I don't know. I'll look at what we're at right now because I don't know. But I do still want to have a contest because we hit 3,000. So um, I don't know. Give me some ideas and what you guys would maybe like. It doesn't have to necessarily be, uh, you know well bath and body related I, I wouldn't mind maybe throwing something in there a little bit different so anyways on that note guys thanks for watching comment below so i know what you guys want me to do and i'll be walking around in circles in the meantime all right ciao talk to you later